Hello everyone, my name is Yemi Oyanesi. I'm a recent medical graduate applying to the 2022 match cycle. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about some study materials to use for step one and step two CK. A lot of people advise right off the bat to do UWorld twice and maybe read through first aid twice and that's it. But as an IMG, um, I, I felt like I needed a bit more foundational knowledge uh, uh, once I finished my basic sciences. So I'm pretty much going to give you the scoop on how to study essentially from near scratch. The first thing you're going to want to do is read through BRS physiology. You can get ebooks on that. Uh, you can work through it, it's a quick read. You can do a chapter a day and pretty much be done in a week. That should give you kind of a, a foundation to go off of. They have questions to answer after each chapter just to kind of drive what you read home. So after you're done with BRS Physio, uh, you can then move on to the Pathoma videos. Those helped me immensely. I can't, I can't tell you how beneficial Pathoma was. Um, that will take you a little bit longer, maybe a month to go through. It's 35 hours of video, I think, when I did it in, in, in 2017. Um, and after that, you're going to want to do the Golgin's Rapid Review after each chapter. It's almost like that book was made almost specifically for Pathoma because uh, for each chapter of Pathoma, there was a corresponding chapter in Golgin's Rapid Review. So don't worry um, if you're not getting many of the questions right after each chapter. It's, it's a, it, I found those questions a bit difficult, but it definitely drove the point home. But Doma, you're gonna wanna follow through with the workbook and that should take you maybe about a month or so. Now, after Pathoma, the next thing I would recommend doing is Kaplan's Pharmacology and Biochemistry. And you're gonna wanna follow along with the workbook as well. After you're done with BRS, Pathoma, and Kaplan, that should give you a pretty good foundation to move on to questions. And I'd recommend doing timed tutor mode at first maybe using either USMLE RX or Kaplan and just do individual disciplines. Um, so one day maybe you can take cardio, the next day GI or hematology. Um, and you can use first aid as a reference using those question banks. Uh, you can do that maybe for a month or so. After you're done with all of that, you'll have your foundational knowledge and you're ready to move on to UWorld questions. And you're going to want to do timed random blocks. After you're done with the foundational stuff, I would run through UWorld once, doing time blocks, and then go ahead and take an MBME and see where your score is. And wherever you're weakest on, do either USMLE RX or Kaplan on, on your weak subjects. And then maybe every week, take another MBME until until your test date. The last thing you can do is the free 120 questions and you can find that at usmle.org. Those questions I found were most similar to what you're gonna see on test day. You're gonna wanna practice your stamina. So towards the end, I would maybe do two blocks, 80 questions back to back before correcting it. Now for step two CK, what I did, there's online med ed um, I did that and I tried to do maybe the corresponding pre-test questions. Sometimes I did, they have like a month for 99 cents if you add the questions on to online med ed. Those questions aren't really close to the CK questions, but at least they'll drive the point home so that, you know, you can retain what you're, what you're learning. Usually, you know, when you're watching videos, it can go in one ear and out the other. So those questions are very important to do at the end of each video. Um, MBMEs, they're your best friend. Uh, the the UWorld self-assessments, I think they were the most accurate for CK. So far, they just came out with brand new MBMEs and I found that those were very similar as well to the actual test. And again, before 
you do your test, those free 120 questions, they also have it for CK. I would definitely do those last. They don't have, they don't give you a three digit score, but um, they give you a percentage and you can go on Reddit and see kind of like the correlation a little bit and that should give you an accurate assessment of what you're gonna get. All right, good luck studying. You're gonna do great, just believe in yourself. Thank you.